Imatrex on set. All right, so you took Imatrex today. Yes, I did, and that was like seven in the morning. So you took seven o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. Imatrex, okay. Um, and do you still have the migraine right now? I do, I okay. do. It has gone down, but like, it's still there. I only always get migraines this frontal left side of my lobe, and it radiates like through my eye. Like it feels okay. like there's a pin mm -hmm. going through my eye, and it's weird that I've adapted to just like with that constant pain like existing like being a thing like often because I get migraines we're talking a month uh, at least 10 up to 10 8 to 10 but like a week two minimum so okay. even with all of that and I also get um uh, Botox in like my forehead and like my whole head and like down the neck to try to help which has like helped the number of migraines that I've gotten but I wouldn't say it helps with the severity of the migraines I come. Each one is unique and different. This one's luckily not one of the ones having me like vomiting profusely, like or whatever, because okay. that, that, you know, but luckily today it's not that bad. I was like, thank God. But yeah, it's just an annoying thing that I have dealt with probably since I was like 13, 14, like all this time. And I do have a lot of, uh, so I also have rotated hips. They're like rotated in a little bit. I don't know if that's related, but I get really bad sciatic nerve pain underneath. I try to stretch at least like 20 to 30 minutes a day, like with like the pulling down, it's like these, and like when you're on your back and like pulling to try to loosen everything up, because there's not a day that I don't wake up feeling stiff. I think the overall tightness, like I have a knot in my upper shoulder that like following through that you're gonna feel, that's just like, it's solid, nothing, nothing really gets through to it, uh, problem spots. And also when I like sleep, I have to sleep with like a pillow between my legs because I get this crazy sharp pain like directly on the sides that like shoots like electricity. So like I have problems naturally sleeping because of my pain as well. I'm glad you asked that because I've, it's been freaking me out. So this numb goes, hand goes completely numb. Like it'll start as a trickle. It only starts from here to here. Like I will have here and up, but it'll radiate like, you know when you're like laying on your arm too long and then you just feel like your arm's starting to fall asleep. It, by the time I feel it, it's almost practically almost fully asleep. And like when I touch it, it hurts. And like everything, I try to move it and it just like hurts and it comes and goes. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't experienced it in four days, but when it happens, I notice that day I will suffer with it. Like it'll come and go mm -hmm. random times. It'll be there for 20 How minutes. long has it been happening for? When's the first time you noticed? Honestly, like three or four months ago, it's fairly new. Okay. All right, go ahead and walk towards me. Okay, I see the high right shoulder, which means you probably have a right convexity in the thoracic spine, we shall see. You have a high right shoulder from the back too, also a high right hip. Okay, looking at the feet, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are symmetrical and even from left to right. The lower extremity is good. I do see a little bit of internal rotation uh, on the right foot from heel strike to mid stance the knee internally rotates on the right. It doesn't do it quite as bad on the left, definitely present on the right, so most likely a compensation from the hip, the high hip on the right. So we'll see if that, if that hip is externally rotated, causing that rotation at the knee. Yep, it's, the knee is rotated inwards on both sides for sure, but more on the left, and that's from heel strike to mid stance. So I don't see a head tilt too much, maybe a high right ear, but there's a translation to the left. All right, checking for arches. Arches are intact bilaterally, that's awesome. The, the big toe is straight away, that's good. You wanna put your hands on your hips. Yep, certainly have a high right hip, high right shoulder, you can let that down. And then your, your head is, almost perfectly straight even. It's not tilted one way or it's just shifted to this way. That's called a translation. Yeah. Okay, we see the collar going a little bit more on this side versus mm -hmm. this side, so that means we're rotated out this way. All right, let's go check out that scoliosis. Okay, observing the spine from the seated position, let's check this scapula again. Okay, high, high left scapula. That's, isn't that, we saw a high right in the hallway, didn't we? I think so, high right at the front of the front. Okay, so we have we have a really good shot of the scoliosis here. The the primary curve is in your lumbar spine with a left convexity mm -hmm. here, and the compensa compensatory right hip, and there's there might be a just a very shallow curve here to mm -hmm. the right side, 
Now let's look up at the cervical spine here. So there's a rotatory component here, so there's a rotation coming back this way, and that's why the front right mm. uh, clavicle is pushed outward. Start here, the SI joint left. Upper SI, is there tenderness here? Yeah. Right SI joint. Yeah, a little bit more. How about the lower SI joint here? That one's actually not bad. What about lower left SI? A little, but not. Not too bad. So upper yeah. right SI joint, and you're very tender to the touch there. Tender, discomfort, mm -hmm. tension. Uh, <laughs> How about this one? Tender, discomfort? Mm, just a little discomfort on that one. Just a little bit, but this one here, okay, L5. Sharp. Yeah, uh -huh. so she's sharp. jumping here, muscle mm -hmm. spasm, sharp pain happening at L5. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it more? Left? That, right. that way. Okay, so right SI, right L5. We're going to have to determine which way we adjust this uh, lumbar spine. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Okay, I'm going to do a temperature evaluation using the back of my hands. The back of the hands are more sensitive to temperature. Okay, much warmer on the right side here in the lumbar spine. And then when we come up to the thoracic, it's, it's more even up here, but a little bit of dominance on the left side. And then it gets very symmetrical here. Nice and even in the upper thoracic spine. Warmer up here, actually. This is this is cold, but no changes in your skin uh, moisture levels. It's uh, no excessive dryness, no excessive moisture here. That's good. Right SI, right L5, primary targets for pain and tension. Okay, that's very good. Okay, bring your chin down to your chest. Back up. Down. Okay, good. Mm. Talk to me. It's uh, where your finger is. It's in the um, more. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like sharp. Right. It's a little... C5. What about mm. left versus right? Left. Bring this down here. Mm -hmm. Which one do you feel here? Uh, which one feels more restricted, that or this? Uh, that that this way feels more restricted. Right lateral flexion restriction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that right was exactly there. It's the worst spot. That's a switch sharp as well. But yeah. So this would that, that that palpation should correlate to an upper left cervical, lower right cervical, but we'll see if that shows up during the leg check. All this is rotated. All right, so the first thing you're gonna feel is my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna follow up to the bottom. We have a lower right, that means the right side has gone posterior and inferior like this, that matches the high hip. And uh, or the left side is going forward. And looking from the top, it looks very even. Uh, I don't see any rotations and no internal or external rotations of the pelvis here. Uh, we're gonna do a palpation of the glute just to see if there's any hypertonicity over here versus the left. Go to right. It's a little sore there. On the right. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. The the glute medius is a little bit more than this side, so we may have a minor rotation there. Uh, now that you're standing still I, and your feet are together, I can see more of the uh, genuverum. So, you know, the, the little bit of a bow-legged, yeah. it's more prominent on the left and it's more prominent when you're standing and that, that could be part of that rotation as well. Right. There is a little bit of an asymmetry here in the left side in the, in the thoracic spine, so I suspect a, a double curvature here. Okay. Um, a curvature just a slightly one to the right in the thoracic and then down to the left in the lumbar. And uh, So go ahead and close your eyes, just looking for very small swaying motions. Good. It's okay to sway, you're supposed to sway. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. little, it wants to go back to the right. 
wants to go back to the right and then it, and then it bounces straight back to forward left never seen that before that's interesting good okay very good you can open your eyes I don't suspect a hypermobility with that it looks like your pelvis is stable Nice little breathing. side here right or left left definitely right here right or left right sorry it is very painful I don't even have the you're very tender uh, yeah. that's okay you're gonna feel better after this here Right, short, stay short. That focuses on the left SI as a primary. And lower back. Okay, I'm gonna push down into your pelvis. Do you have any pain or discomfort when I push here? Mm, yeah. How about here? More there, way more there. Way more on the right. Mm -hmm. Right, when you lift your entire right leg up in the air. Okay, down. Okay, then left. Good, down. Okay, one more time, do the left. Okay, right lumbar is fine. Right lumbar is firing. Okay, so we have tenderness on the right SI mm -hmm. joint, but the yeah. leg length tells us the left SI joint. Tenderness at the right L5. So let's check the lumbar spine. Seven, six, five. Which is more tender, right or left? Definitely left. Left tenderness, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, if we come to here, mm -hmm. left, mm -hmm. right. They're both pretty bad. <laughs> okay, right hip here like this, go down. Good, and then we'll do the left hip up, go in down.
Pressure's okay. Central breathing. <laughs> good. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. You have tension in your spine for sure, but you're nice and relaxed. That's the most mm -hmm. important thing. But we're going to have to push past that tension, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Take a deep breath in. Softly, softly, gentle, gentle. I'm going to follow your breath, let it out. Good. Shoulders sinking. Gentle. Gentle. <sighs> Pressure was good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now, same thing. Shoulders relaxed. Letting it all go. Letting it all sink in here. Good. Okay, 
let's give this a try deep breath in and out sinking shoulders letting it all go shoulders sinking <laughs> we're gonna move your spine over to the right good nice and gentle we're gonna do a little push like this okay mm -hmm. okay let your shoulders relax here gonna let the head go good gentle Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we push at the top of the breath, so you're gonna take a deep breath in and then we push, okay? Mm -hmm. so let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let your shoulders relax as you breathe out. Just let your shoulders drop. No, that's good. Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in. Lean back as you blow it out. Okay, breathe out. Good, okay, keep breathing. Okay, a couple more. Okay, just like before. As you breathe out, I'm gonna bring your hip, your shoulders up in this direction and your hips down. Okay. And then we're gonna push like that, okay? okay? Okay, let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders relax and let your hips relax. Good, little push here, good. <laughs> yeah, good I moved good that time. <laughs> good, there you go. Okay, okay, this is that L5. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, good and out. Shoulders relaxing, good. Oh, there's more, hold on. One more, let the shoulders relax. Good. Right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Left upper, right upper cervical. Center. Good, bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was getting complicated. Back to center. Okay, right ear down to your shoulder. That balance it out. Okay, that's good.
just let your head drop into the table. Good, nice and gentle. Let the shoulders and hips relax. Good. Good, let this go. Good. One more time, let it go. Let your shoulders go there. <laughs> That's crunchy. Okay, we're gonna bring this guy over to here. Shoulders relax. Just try to let your head sink in as much as possible. Good, you're doing good. That's perfect right there. All you're doing is be right there. We're gonna give a little push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Go let the head drop in, let the shoulders drop in. Good. Good shoulders. Let it go. Oh, wow. Okay, this is an ankle adjustment. I'm gonna pull down in this direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes already. Go to the right side. Yeah. Relax here. Good. Okay, so we start with the ileocecal valve. This is where the window in between the large and the small intestine, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we find the belly button here and the ASIS here. We connect these two points. That's where we begin looking. Yours is empty right now. Might be a little tender, right? A little tender. But not too bad, actually. But but yours is empty and not activated, so. Pyloric sphincter, this is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Did you eat anything today? Um, I ate uh, very early. I yeah. ate at like 9.30, like uh, a little bit of granola with uh, mm -hmm. one of those drinkable yogurts put in it, kind of like a cereal. Because mm -hmm. there's that's nothing it. in here. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, that's, I, okay. Only, no, that's I, okay. I only eat two meals a day. This is the diaphragm manipulation. We're just going to come around the diaphragm here. A little tight there. Yes. Sticklish? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's work it out here. Okay, do you know how Sorry. to belly breathe? Um, okay, push your belly all the way out. Now pull your belly in. Do it again. Push your belly out. Good. Now relax. Now push your belly out and breathe in at the same time. Good. And out. Do it again. Push your belly out. Breathe in. And out. Keep doing it, but do it quieter. All right, so we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna bring this like that. Are you mm -hmm. okay with that? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna bring this. And then as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath like this. And then we pull at the end, okay? Okay. Let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. And out. Good, keep your teeth together. Good. Oh, good. Oh, that was interesting. Oh. Did you feel it all the way down? Uh, I would say, like I felt it specific. It probably was all the way down, but I only was only self aware of like hearing a movement here, and then a little bit down here. Mm -hmm. That's but I'm sure it was more. But that's all I felt, mm -hmm. like you know, clicking wise. Yeah. Yeah, but things did move. It gets oh, I see. It's a little bit tense, but a little. Yeah. I pulled about fifty percent. Yeah, thank you for doing not yeah. more than that, <laughs> since I have such a sensitive like cervical spine situation. Because it's a little tender, but I know it'll go away. Not a little bit. Take it for a test drive. Oh. I feel like I have more range of motion in my neck, definitely. That's pretty good. Feels less tense up top because, like, I feel like I came in very tense. Okay. How's the low back feel? That's what I'm saying. It's not like, how do I describe it? I'm not going to say cold, but like, 
Are usually my back runs very like I can sense like a slight temperature difference and it feels more neutral. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Like even. How's your migraine? It is still there a smidge, but it has decreased by a lot. It's just a smidge still there. But I notice a lot of relief. Nice and gentle, relax. What? <laughs> oh. I didn't crack them before, I swear. We still got the crack though. <laughs> okay, now lean forward just a little bit. Didn't even know that could crack. How's that migraine? It's down a lot less. I'd say it's a probably only, when I went here in a percentage of 100, I think it was at like a 70% migraine and it's definitely down to like 10% less. So yeah, you've given me an incredible amount of relief and I'm very grateful for, because that's hard to do. <laughs>
Sometimes morphine doesn't even do it. <laughs> Good, nice and gentle, relax. What? Good, right side. Gentle, gentle. Gentle, feet together. Good. Oh, push here. Good. Your shoulders get there. <laughs> Let the shoulders relax. Good. Let it go. <laughs> oh, wow.